everyone loves to talk about pills. Pills have really helped people. Pills have really harmed people. People have lots of opinions. Don't take this pill, it'll kill you. This is the pill of the devil. Your doctor is only prescribing you that pill because they get a kickback from the pharmaceutical company. Or the flip side, this pill saved my life. Without this pill, I'd be miserable, in agony, erectionless, dead. How dare you say that this pill could cause problems for anyone? Without this pill, I wouldn't exist. People especially love their supplements. Look at the bottle. It cures Alzheimer's disease, cancer, loneliness, belly fat. My great aunt on my father's side twice removed used this. It's from orphan sea salt anemones and it cured her black plague. It's just mushrooms. It has to be wonderful. Well, I'm telling you today about the one pill that you must know and be educated about because it will literally save your life. Let's do it. We often live our lives in ways that put us at risk. We don't eat right, we don't exercise, we drink too much, we smoke, we watch endless hours of TV, we don't spend time with anyone. But let's face it, our daily choices, binge eating, late night TV watching, having no friends or living like hermits, they catch up with us. And at some point, our bodies start sending distress signals. You're driving your body over the edge living like this. Now, those signals don't come in the form of words like, hey, don't live like this, you're hurting me. It comes in the form of not feeling well or blood tests where your doctor is frowning about the results. So what could possibly go wrong? Well, how about cardiovascular disease? Atherosclerosis. It's a fancy word, but here's the super quick rundown. It's basically your blood vessels that's bringing the fresh, healthy blood to the rest of your body is throwing a party, a plaque party. And cholesterol is the guest of honor. Along with fats, calcium, and other substances, the cholesterol digs into the artery walls. This buildup narrows them, so it makes it harder for blood to get through. Think of it like a traffic jam in your circulatory system. And like with any jam, it can cause problems. Think of heart attacks and strokes. So what's commonly used to treat this condition? Statins. And I have a whole video on statins. The good, the bad, and how to not get ugly. So feel free to check it out. But what else could possibly go wrong? Well, how about type 2 diabetes? The quick take on that one is it's your body's attempt to have a sugar party and how it's all going wrong. So here's the quick deal. When you eat, your body turns food into glucose, which is your cell's favorite thing to snack on. But to get that glucose from your bloodstream into your cells, you have to go through the doorman. We'll call that person insulin. In type 2 diabetes, though, your cells start locking the door on insulin. They're insulin resistant. So here's insulin on the outside, knocking and pounding and saying, hey, let the sugars in. The glucose needs to have entry. But the cells are like, nah, we're good, thanks. And so the result is a pile up of sugars in your bloodstream. Over time, this sugar buildup can lead to lots of problems like heart disease, kidney issues, and vision problems. When your sugars are so out of whack, you're on the brink of having a big problem, your doctor might suggest something like metformin. It lowers blood sugar levels by improving the way that your body works with the insulin. But what else can happen? It might bring on the need to manage some of the side effects like possible gastrointestinal problems, diarrhea or constipation or stomach upset, and a depletion of vitamin B12, which is crucial for your body. Could there possibly be anything else going wrong? Sure. How about that whole not interacting with anybody or not having friends? Loneliness is a chronic health condition in the United States. It was bad before the pandemic, and now it's even worse. Up to half of the people say they feel lonely or disconnected. As we age, it snowballs. People can die. They can move. They can lose the ability to interact with us and have meaningful relationships. That loneliness can evolve into an experience of depression, and this is much worse than the occasionally feeling a little bit down or upset. 
Depression is not normal at any age, and your providers might suggest that you take some kind of medication for it. Maybe something like Zoloft, also known as sertraline. It's an SSRI, and doctors often like it because it seems relatively effective and has a generally low side effect profile. But it can still have side effects, especially as we get older. Again, here come the gastrointestinal issues. It can be really upsetting to some people. And it can cause people to feel dizzy or unsteady, especially when they get up from lying down or sitting. When that happens, especially as we age, it can increase risk of falls. So all these problems are just lovely, right? But what's the one pill that you need to know about because it will literally change your life? It's the one you're not taking to treat all of those problems we just talked about. Being all proud that you don't take medications without living a lifestyle where you don't need the medications is just plain stupid. The real magic pill is a healthier lifestyle, doing something every single day that leads you to move your body, trend toward healthier foods, and interact with people in loving ways. If you haven't done those things consistently for a while, or ever, then you are probably at risk for having those big bad things happen to your life and to having much worse quality of life without even knowing why. The way you live your life is the foundation, the key to not needing to worry about pills. But if you've waited too long and you're on the brink of having those major health problems, or maybe you've already experienced some of them, or maybe you've lost the genetic lottery and you're gonna have those problems even if you're living a really healthy lifestyle, then the most important pill you need to worry about is the one that you and your doctor could identify to deal with those problems in conjunction with a healthier lifestyle. You have to make changes to how you live your life. Remember, the best cure is prevention. So join with me in our community and other people who get it and want to live in the healthiest way possible. I'll see you in my next video on how to exercise in a way that feels like you're barely exercising and you still get the great benefits of moving your body. I'll see you there.